so here's the thing right the thing is how do you know whether to use like this method or this method over here um, typically we don't use this method over here other than for the ones that we have already found so we found the patterns over there that were because these e to the x remember that pattern was one 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 and sine of x was just the like what was that one zero negative one zero one zero negative one zero type thing and cosine of x would have been the same, but we didn't even use the pattern for cosine of x because we just said, oh, let's differentiate that, which, which means that we just differentiate that. Nailed it, right? So that's, uh, but we could have, if we wanted to find the pattern for cosine of x, but it, it would be very similar to what we did for sine of x, okay? So um, anyway, there are some, like there, there's this example that I was gonna do for you that now that I've said that, we typically don't do that. This one, um, this one is centering it at something other than zero. So I'm gonna do this one. However, I'll just leave this up here and maybe come back to this if, uh, if we have enough time. Yeah, um, I need to uh, start talking about errors as well and these um, nth degree Taylor polynomials to approximate, even though I've already discussed it a little bit and like use a graphing calculator to graph if you were to go out until n equals five, what that looks like, so it goes up to maybe the fifth degree or something. So that's what I need to do just within the next uh, couple days and then review it again. So, yeah. Uh, but let's go back to the uh, homework.